fellow students and welcome to another English virtual class. Our topic today is the seasons of the year. From the very beginning, I'd like you to read and learn the poem. In winter time, we go walking in the fields of snow, where there is no grass at all where the top of every wall, every house and every tree is as white as white can be. And our mothers always know by our footprints on the snow where the children go. New words that come just before reading the text, you have to write them in your copy books, remember and use them whenever you need to change, to make or become different, to happen, to have existence or come into existence, mm, to collect food, to get and keep food, to ripe, ready to be collected or eaten, a bed, pay attention to the, the picture, so a bed is this kind of animal, but the picture is more than a word and hibernation, hibernation, so it's a process when animals sleep during the winter. Uh, one more word, sunglasses, sunglasses, right, let's read the text. The text is entitled The Seasons of the Year. In many places the weather changes during the year. We name these changes seasons. Each season brings changes that are important for plants and animals. In spring the weather gets warmer and sunnier. Trees and plants start to grow. Many animals have their babies in spring. Summer is usually the warmest and the sunniest time of the year. Fruits grow on trees and plants. Young animals grow bigger and stronger. During autumn the leaves change color and fall from the trees. Some animals collect food before winter comes. In winter the weather is colder in some places where there is a lot of snow. Plants and trees stop growing. Some animals like bats and bears find places to hide and sleep. This is called hibernation. If you paid attention to what I have just read, you will be able to answer the questions. Are the changes of seasons important? Changes that are important for plants and animals. When do many animals have babies? Many animals have their babies in spring. What happens to young animals in summer? Young animals grow bigger and stronger. All the information is in the text, right? The next question is, what happens during autumn? The leaves change color and fall from the trees. What animals hide and sleep in winter? Remember from the text? Yes, these are bats and bears. They find places to hide and sleep. Do you know that when it is summer in the north, it is winter in the south? At the north and south pole, there are only two seasons. In tropical places near the Earth's equator, there are two seasons, a wet and a dry season. Now, a really interesting and useful exercise. So, uh, we have four leaflets uh, on the screen and you have to decide which one is suitable for the, the part number one and which uh, is suitable for part number two then you have to decide which words come to, uh, to the right sentence. The first one, the weather gets, and then you will say what season it is. So the weather gets warmer, the trees bring new leaves, and the birds start singing songs. What season is it? Yes, you are right, this is spring. Let's see the next one. Complete the sentences. A new school year begins. The birds fly to the south. The days are getting colder. What season is it? Yes, it's autumn. The next, we have two more seasons and two leaflets that we have at the bottom of the at the top of the of the screen. The, the 
days are very long, people wear shorts and sunglasses, children like to swim in the river. Yes, you are right, this is your favorite season, this is summer. And the last one, of course, it's about winter, right? So the weather is very cold, white snow covers the ground, and children love making snowmen. Do you love making snowmen? I'm sure you do. Grammar guide, something interesting and easy to use. So we have questions, who and what? These are questions for subject. Who loves making snowmen? Children do. Who likes summer best? Nick does. So we use who when we speak about people or persons and what when we speak about things or phenomena. For example, what stops growing in winter? Plants and trees do. Now let's complete the exercise. You may do it by yourself and then check with me. So what you have to do is to choose who and what to complete the questions. Remember, who for people, what for things. The first one, what falls to the ground in autumn? What gets ripe in summer? Who collects food before winter comes? Who wears shorts and sunglasses in summer? Who likes to swim in the river in summer? What covers the ground in winter? And the last one, what grows everywhere in summer? I hope you did it well. So, you are clever and you can complete the sentences in a correct way. Let's go on, just because we have reached the end of our lesson. And during this lesson, we have read a poem. We have learned new words to read a text about seasons. What else? So, we have filled in some sentences and we have used who and what in sentences. I hope the information was useful for you. You will be able to use both words and grammar topics by your own. I wish you good luck. See you next time.